Cosmetics. I'm going to be working on Claire today. She's offered to be a model. She's really interested in some of the products and wants to know how to turn her day look into evening. Very interesting. Now, this may look like a powder brush to you, okay? But it's a brush that can work between powders and liquids. Okay. But it's just another way of applying your foundation. And then all I'm gonna do is use a bit of concealer around the eyes. And that will just brighten the eye area as well. Just delicately patting around the eye area. And that will just brighten. And then all we're gonna to do to set my base is just powder. You always make sure also that you apply a lot of powders, especially on top of the eyelids, because again, that's what sets the base and stops the creasing. The cut for me. Put down. View the base. really shows how it evens out your skin. And then we're going to really work towards your cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to really show you how to contour cheeks, which will give you a bit more of a, a, you know, a definition around your cheek bone area. And then we're going to give a bit of a highlight above and a bit of blush on, a blush on the apples of the cheeks. Okay. What you almost must do is, when you use the brush onto the powder, never just go straight onto the cheek. Always rub off the excess. So I'm going to start from where your ear is into your hairline and work it inwards. The same on the other. I'm also going to use the same colour also to work under your jawline. And that's just blending it down. And what this does, it, it really it gives a mini throat lift. Not that you need one, but it just makes your jawline look more chiseled. And then I'm going to use our marbleized glow powder to rock it. And what this is going to do is just pop your cheeks above, just as a highlighter. So if you notice, I'm going in more of a C shape. Turn this way for me. So I'm going to use these colours on you. Now they're slate colours, great colours for day and evening. So we're going to start off with the lighter versions first, with a touch of the darker colour on the corners of the eyes. But if you are going out for the evening, it just means you'll work on this, these two colours or so. And it means that you can spread this colour a bit more heavier and smoke it out a bit more for the evening and you'll be ready to go. So first of all, I'm going to start off with the white colour and I'm working on the corners of the eyes. Now the reason why I'm using the white colour is because it will pop the eye and make your eye look fresh and open. I'm going to use the same colour also for just under the eyebrow bone a touch. And then we're going to work for the second colour here. It's a bit more darker. And I'm just going to wash the eye over the centre of the lid and blend that in. It's a really easy colour to use. Okay. And then look up. And then we're going to go in for that darker colour. Close for me. So I'm only using a touch of this flare at the corner of your eye because it's still daytime. Open. And then we're going to blend. It's very important to spend time blending. You don't want any harsh lines. Scar gives an overall finish for any eyes. Look up for us. So I'm not going to go to the roots, I'm just going to work on the edges and that will just define, okay? 
You've done your eyes now, Claire. And all I'm going to do to finish off your cheeks, I'm just going to add a proper colour, corally colour with gold pigments on the apples of your cheeks. A smile for us. And this just really adds a feminine finish to your overall look. A bit of gloss on the lips and then you're good to go. Now I'm just going to add this corally colour to the base of your lipstick. And it's just going to give your lipstick a finishing twist. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Okay, do you want to have a look? Very nice. 